focus face wrap real photo hello everyone welcome to this video where i'm going to show you the focus face wrap real photo tutorial so make sure to watch the video carefully until the very end in the first step you need to click on the link that i have given you in the description it will be the link of focus of collab so you will be redirect on this page where the first thing that you need to do is to simply press the connect button that you see instead of these three dots now once it is connected successfully you are going to see a check button and after that you are going to see these three dots over here if you see them it simply means that you have successfully connected to it now you will have to tap on this circle in order to play this script now once this script is running it is generating bunch of different urls over here so you just have to scroll down a bit and here you are going to see the option of running on public url so i simply need to click on the link right next to it and then you will be redirect on focus now this is the interface of focus where we can start the swapping process and start generating the real photo from it but before that we need to do some settings on top of it for that in order to access settings you will have to click on the advanced tab over here and then you will be able to see a bunch of different options in the right hand side first of all you will be on this settings tab so you will have to make sure that the preset is selected as initial and the performance is also selected as speed you can even keep it at extreme speed so after selecting it you will have to select the expect ratio so i would recommend you to select the expect ratio as one is to one because it will give you good output then in the image number you can set it to a lot of numbers over here but i would recommend you to keep it at two to three or four then if you want to select or change the output format from png to jpeg from webb then you can also select it so for this video i'm going to keep it as png next we have the option of style so if i click on style it is giving me these three styles uh, that are check already but over here you will have to check this fourth option as well which says focus semi-realistic then you will have to click on the model option and here you just have to do nothing if you click on advance then you just have to do nothing over here as well so you need to come back to the settings now in order to access the swapping options you will have to click on image input option over here once done you will be able to see the upscale and variation option image prompt option in paint or out paint option describe and metadata now as we want to input our image and from that image we want it to generate a face for us so you will have to click on the image prompt option over here and then you will be able to see these four sections so basically you can provide up to four images into it and based on those images it will generate the swapping output for you so here we will start uploading our image so you will have to click on this section then select your input image after that you just have to scroll down a bit and click on the advanced option once done you will be able to see that now you have various types of options here as well like image prompt pyra canny cpds and face swap as you want to use the feature of face swap so you simply need to select it and then whichever option that you have selected for example i have selected only this image over here so this top at will be at 0 0.9 which it will take by default so you will have to set it as 0 0.9 only then you can play with the width because it is really really helpful so you will have to keep the width at approximately one then you just have to start giving it the prompts so you can start writing the prompt in this section or you can seek help from google bard so once you come on google bard you just have to describe that generate image prompt for an australian dollar let's say so it has given me various types of prompts over here so let me just copy any of the prompts from here and i'll simply come back to focus and paste it over here and then press generate button now after clicking on the generate button it will take some time to generate the output for us so you just have to wait for some time until it is doing so so as you can see over here that i asked it to give me three outputs and it has given me these three outputs over here 
and as i have selected the one is to one ratio it is also looking quite good so if i want to check any of the images then i simply click on it and in order to make it big i'll simply click on it again then as you can see over here that it is quite similar to the input that i have given to it if i take a look at the input then as you can see this is the actress that i have added over here and the output his it has generated for me it also looking very realistic so if i want to download these images in my device so i'll simply right click on it and then click on the save image as option then give the file name and press the save button here you will also be able to see this little download button in the top right hand corner so if you click on this download button it will be start downloading in your device so this is how you can easily generate hyper realistic images using focus i hope the video was helpful and if it was then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching.